Hi, in today's puppet skit, we're going to be acting out a story. In fact, we're going to be acting out a story. It's called, our first story is called The King's Nose. King Marvel was very magnificent indeed. All of one was great indeed. Everyone was great and blessed. Everyone was great and blessed. Then there was a boy named Paul who had a red rubber ball. Every day until it grew late, Paul threw the ball down late. One day Paul said, I'll throw my ball as hard as the pies can go. The ball landed on Marvin's nose and it got stuck. What's going on? Then who should show up with the Prime Minister? A rubber ball all fast, how cute. It. It's amazing. I'll get one for my snoot. And the Prime Minister had one for his nose. So the butcher, the baker, the writer, bus, it's good enough for Marvin, it's good enough for us. Was. Oh, whoa, said Paul. I'm really upset. I'll go to the cake. Hope he won't be mad. Paul was told to enter, told to rise, and something wonderful caught his eyes. King Marvel was dressed in a purple cloak, so separate on the toes. Golden crown was on his head, a ball was on his dog. Ha 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 ha! What's so funny? I beg to differ. My ball is on your silver. I do? We see it very quick. King looked in the mirror and he said, Ick! I say that rubber balls and nose are worse. So he took the ball off the nose and, Here you go, kid. So the butcher, the baker, the driver of the bus, It's good enough for King Marvin, it's good enough for us. To ever deal with Nick Worthley, King Paul has a thousand balls and he threw his house gate. This lesson you know is true. If the king does something silly, you don't have to do it too. That's our story, the King's Nose.